In this quick Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a vignette here in Illustrator. So the vignette that we're going to add is actually just going to be a rectangle with a gradient applied to it. And that's going to be a transparent gradient. Then you could change the size of that rectangle and apply it to anything you want, like images here in Illustrator or just your document itself. I actually do it to the background of some of my thumbnails here on my Illustrator channel. So we're going to add a rectangle and I'm going to make this rectangle. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter the fill because we're going to change it to a gradient anyway. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, shortcut key is M, and just create any old rectangle. We're going to, we can resize this later. It doesn't matter. So we've got the rectangle out here. Now I'm going to click on my gradient tool. The shortcut key for that is G. And then in my properties panel over here on the right, I'm going to click on the radial gradient. Once we click on that radial gradient, it's going to apply the gradient out here. And you can see how we're already getting toward that vignetting look. Then we need to actually edit the gradient itself. Now there is a gradient, uh, there are gradient sliders out here like directly on this gradient. So you can make adjustments here. Like we can scale this in and out. We can adjust the colors of each here. I, you, you can use this. I don't necessarily prefer using this. I still like the gradient menu. And to get to there, we press the three dots over here. Or we open up our gradient window and drag it wherever we want, which is probably what I'll do. So we go to window, down to gradient, and then we've got the gradient out here. I can bring that window right here instead of way over in my properties panel. So here, I can adjust the color of the gradient. And I actually want to go from black to black, interestingly enough. So we're going to hold option and click and drag on this black swatch to add another one right there. Then we're gonna click and drag down to remove that white swatch, and then just drag this all the way out. Now I believe in this case, yep, you can see how when I have this color selected, it's actually the center one selected. So I'm gonna drag the opacity or bring the opacity to zero. So now we go from black to, uh, well, black, but, 0% opacity, 100% on the right to zero. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, it doesn't look like it goes to white anymore, right? That's because it doesn't, it actually goes to transparent. So if we grab this move tool on this rectangle and bring this over, you can see how this is a transparent, uh, transparent vignette. And we can resize this rectangle however we want and that vignette will resize. And so if we wanted it on the artboard here, we could lock it into the top left and resize it. Oops, missed that a little bit. We could resize it to the bottom right, and now we have a vignette on our artboard. So if you want to tweak this vignette, we pull open this gradient panel and we click on this rectangle, and we can tweak the midpoint of this. We can tweak the colors of this by tweaking these two colors. I would always make sure you uh, have them be the same color. So if I had this red in here, I could grab this hex code, command or control C, click on this second slider, double click it, and then paste that hex code in here just to make sure I have the exact same color. That way it goes from red to red. It doesn't change color as it goes to transparent. We can adjust the aspect ratio here. So if we go down in percentage, you can see it get thinner. And if we go up in percentage, it's kind of the opposite, right? It skews the circle of our gradient here, of our um, vignette. Now, if you wanted to lower the transparency of the whole thing, right? This is 100% transparency out here. Instead of changing this transparency, which you could, the opacity of this swatch, you could change the transparency of the entire rectangle itself. So we could go over here to the opacity and drag that down a little bit. So if you had an image in here or anything else, or even just, you know, changing the background to have like a little bit of a gradient vignette, you can make those adjustments right here and kind of tweak that to whatever you want it to be. So that's a really quick way to add a vignette. And you can drag that out here and you can bring it in and you can duplicate your vignette just by holding option and clicking and dragging. That's Alt on PC. 
So you can have multiple vignettes and kind of tweak them to be different things, different colors, whatever you want, and apply them to your design in whatever way you would like to apply them. But that's how I would add a vignette here in Illustrator.